Hi, I'm Wendy Batts and I'm one of your ShareCare fitness experts and I'm here today to show you a mini workout to get lean legs like Mel. First we're going to start off with a single leg squat. This is a great exercise to really work on your quads and that booty. When you go down though, a couple things to keep in mind. That kneecap needs to be right over that second and third toe and also want to make sure you fully stand up each and every time and squeeze that cheek. So, one, one helpful tip, do it in front of a mirror the first few times to make sure that knee doesn't cave in or too far out. You're going to do about 10 to 15 per leg and if you're new to this, remember you can tap down with that opposite foot or hold on to a bar just until you get used to it. Once you're, you've done each leg, we're going to go ahead and talk about walking lunges. A lot of times people complain about lunges hurting their knees and there's a few reasons for that. If you go in and you make about a 90-90, so I'm going to have Mel just go ahead and drop down for a second. This kneecap, if it's not over the second and third toe, is great for the quad, but it doesn't necessarily fully engage that booty. So I'm going to have her slightly lean forward to keep this knee over the second and third toe, which also takes the stress off of that back knee, which a lot of times causes the irritation when that's not done correctly. So I'm going to have her step back and show you a couple walking lunges. For difficulty, I'm going to have her add a twist. When you twist, you always want to twist towards the side that that leg is coming out on. Once again, you're going to do about 10 to 15 reps per leg. Once you're done with that, we're going to go into the oh so popular jumping jack. The jumping jacks, when you do this, keep that navel in really tight and also make sure to keep those toes pointed forward. This is an awesome way to get that heart rate back up as well. 10 to 15 and let's move on. We're going to go into a deadlift. Oftentimes these exercises or this particular exercise can cause some pain in the lower back region. That's because people do them incorrectly and they tend to round a lot more in their spine. So will you demo that? So and then bend over. A lot of, when you see this, this can cause a lot of stress back here. So we, this is a no-no. What we're going to do is make sure that Mel keeps her shoulders back, that tummy in tight and she's going to kind of bend those knees and hinge at the hips. When she comes up each and every time she's going to squeeze those cheeks so therefore she should really feel it in the hamstrings, which is the back of the leg, as well as your glutes. 10 to 15 reps, and then once that's done, we're going to go into an awesome exercise that's a step up to balance. If you're new to this, you can start on a very small or short box. And also remember, when you're coming up, you're going to lean forward just like you did in those lunges, making sure that that kneecap and second and third toe stay lined up. When you come up, you're going to really squeeze through the cheek on your balanced leg and always remember to tap down if you feel like you're going to lose your balance. This is great to do as well to really get those quads as well as the glute involved. 10 to 15 reps per leg and then last but not least, we're going to show a hamstring curl on the ball. So I'm going to have Mel lay on the ground. I'm going to give her a ball that she's comfortable with. She's going to keep her, hip, or her, her feet shoulder width apart. She's going to draw in that navel and then she's going to bring her knees in towards her stomach and chest and then slowly roll back out. What you want to make sure is when you're doing this that you're making a straight line here, you're keeping this in tight and that these hips don't move up or down. So go ahead and just demo a few, kick it back out. This is a great exercise not only for your core but also those hamstrings, so the back of those legs. All right. Thank you. So if you put all these exercises together, you'll end up having those lean legs that you've always wanted. And for more helpful tips, don't forget to visit us on sharecare.com.